Ever since FBI agents in the U.S. raided Donald Trump's Florida home, questions have been swirling as to what was found in the trove of around 13,000 documents. The Washington Post newspaper has reported that law enforcement sought, quote, classified documents relating to nuclear weapons. Trump has denied the story, but he's also appointed a federal judge as an independent arbiter to review what was found. And with me now is Natasha Lindstedt, a pro political scientist at the Department of Government at the University. University of Essex in the UK. Natasha, great to have you with us. Um, there have been, there are concerns that Donald Trump may have violated the Espionage Act. So that brings me to the question, what allows him to appoint a so-called special master in this case? And also, what does it mean for the investigation? Well, he uh, appealed to, to have this with the courts. Uh, so he actually filed this uh, case 70 miles away from Mar-a-Lago where it happened because I think he and his legal team were looking around for the right judge and he specifically chose a judge that he appointed that was young, new and experienced and and, and right wing and supportive of Trump possibly. I mean, these are the uh, accusations coming from uh, the Democrats and then other uh, uh, legal scholars that feel that this judge should have recused herself. She didn't. And so what we have here is the judge granting him this special master, and this is going to delay things. The, the special master can review these documents under this idea of executive privilege. I'd like to state first that even former Attorney General Bill Barr says that a former president can in, invoke executive privilege um, to prevent the executive branch from reviewing documents that are related to investigation. So there's all kinds of real legal questions here about what's just happened. And it gives the Justice Department uh, very few options about what to do, uh, because this is really a violation of the rule of law in the U.S., and it's also a really troubling sign for what this means for the expansion of executive power. So how has this been allowed? And what does it mean for Trump's chances of potentially being prosecuted? And that's a really good question. It's been allowed because Trump and his team were able to basically shop for the right judge that they thought were going to come up with the ruling that they wanted. And she even went beyond that, uh, offering an explanation that was really bizarre. So the Justice Department has very few options available. They can decide to take a huge risk and appeal on the grounds that the rule of law has been violated, and this would go to the 11th uh, District Court in Atlanta, but then there are six judges there that Trump appointed. And it's important to mention that during the four years that Trump was in power, he appointed as many federal judges as Obama did over eight years. And he was very specific about the types of judges that he had appointed. And then the other option for the Department of Justice is to try to speed up this process and to limit the the scope and the time and i think that's what they're most likely to do because that's the most pragmatic way forward otherwise this could just be going on for ages